Today is Friday, May 29th, 2020. Let us stop what we are doing in our homes and quietly place ourselves in the presence of God. On Sunday, we will celebrate the solemnity of Pentecost. Before Jesus ascended into heaven, he told his disciples that he would send the Holy Spirit to guide and strengthen them to carry on his mission. This promise comforted the disciples and gave them hope. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Advocate comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, he will testify on my behalf. You also are to testify, because you have been with me from the beginning. I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. When the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth, for he will not speak on his own, but will speak whatever he hears, and he will declare to you the things that are to come. He will glorify me, because he will take what is mine and declare it to you. All that the Father has is mine. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Think about this silently in your heart. To testify means to give evidence or bear witness. How do you testify to your faith in Jesus? All right. Today we have a very cool, very special prayer. First graders testifying to Jesus. Yesterday on their Zoom with Mrs. Hansen, they prayed their angel of God prayer. And Mrs. Hansen recorded it and sent it to us. So here are a bunch of first graders that were in for their tutoring for Zoom. And they are going to lead us in the angel of God prayer. St. Ferdinand, pray for us. We have three birthdays this weekend. Loving God, you created all the people of the world, and you know each of us by name. We thank you for Zoe Castillo, Julia Bolsky, and Christian Acevedo, who celebrate their birthdays this weekend. Bless Zoe, Julia, and Christian with your love and friendship, that they may grow in wisdom, knowledge, and grace. May they love their families always and be faithful to their friends. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now we will say the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, it's Friday. Hooray. We are at the end of 10 weeks of distance learning. Isn't that amazing? You've been doing this for 10 weeks. And today is the last day to really learn new things, to work on your specials, um, especially, okay? Really do a lot of emphasis on that. Work on getting things turned into your teachers. Next week is still e-learning. You'll still have a Zoom scheduled. I'm excited when I look at the teachers' plans. They've got all kinds of fun review games to do together. Some cahoots, some bingos. Um, some of you are working on memory books of the year, and that kind of thing. So next year will be a lot of fun. But if you're not caught up with stuff, Next week, at least Monday and Tuesday, really, are the days that teachers are reaching out to families to say, I need to see a little more work. So if you put things off, please make sure you're turning things in so we can wrap up this year and we can assess what you have learned. All right? Thank you for that. Uh, let's see. Tonight is um, our Ferdinand Friday Family Fun Night, and it's a car parade for the class of 2000. So eighth grade families are starting to gather in our parking lot around six o'clock. They'll have their cars decorated. We'll make sure they are socially distanced. We have a huge parking lot, so that's perfect for that. Um, and they will get a blessing around 625. Father Lucas will be joining us for that. And then we're gonna go around the neighborhood. We're gonna do two loops in cars. So the rest of you families, if you would start to gather on all the streets that surround us, Mason, all the way down to Wellington, so a couple blocks, back down Marmora, then they're going to come through the parking lot again. I think that's where most of the teachers and staff will remain. 
and then they're going to do one more baby loop right around the campus. All right, so again, down Mason, Barry, Marmora. So if you're parked on any of those streets, Mason, Wellington, Marmora, Barry, great. You could stay in your car and cheer as they go by. They'll be honking and hooting and hollering. Um, or if you want to get out in a safe place on the sidewalk, not near any other families, that's awesome too. All right, so just a little something to come out and celebrate our eighth graders who would have had, we would have had a mass today with their awards and such. So that's that. Hooray. Um, we had an awesome prayer today from first grade. I just love that. So if any other teachers want to record their students next week, I'd love that. We only need about eight more prayers, right, to get through the school year. Um, send them in. Send anybody. Send some prayers in to school at stferdinand.org. Um, if you ever want to send in why you love St. Ferds or what you miss about us on a recording, send that in also to school at stferdinand.org, and I'll just send you a prize. Those are coming in the mail soon. Uh, let's see. It's our last day to work on perseverance. You really have to persevere through today, getting all your major assignments finished, all those specials work, let's get them done. Um, keep persevering. We'll announce those angels one of the early days next week. Okay, the teachers are starting to compile their lists of our last angels of the bunk for perseverance. Let's see, what else? Oh, uh, gosh, it's just about 10 days away from our big fun run, what we're doing instead of the walkathon. We're having foot knit for FERS, first responders, and the food pantry. Um, there will be a, a pledge sheet and an information sheet going by Monday at the latest. But you know I've been talking about this for a while. My hope is that on Monday, June 8th, that's the only lesson plans teachers have for you, if you would consider walking around your neighborhood, taking a picture of that, or even a little um, video of it. Or if you want to walk around the blocks at school, that's awesome. We'll come out and tape you. Um, and just, you know, if you do it for 15 minutes, a dollar a minute, that's awesome. $15, $5 for St. Ferdinand, $5 for a first responder organization, $5 for the food pantry. We're also going to be setting up in the courtyard um, a little prayer sheet of the names of a lot of our parents that um, are first responders. Miss Margaret and I will be taking a look at that list um, for the families that we know, and then I'll be asking you too if you want to remind us, oh, hey, I'm a first responder, my parents, or myself, police, firefighter, nurse, doctor, um, just so we make sure we have the list. But anyway, we're going to laminate a list and have that in the courtyard. So if you decide to walk by and say a prayer for them that day and for all they've been doing during this time, that's awesome. So keep that in mind. And even next Friday, our, um, our family fun night, I'll be picking up water bottles for that. Those are actually coming to my house sometime today. So um, I'll be able to show you those next week. And I'm very excited about those. All right. What else? Um, let's see. Before we get to our jokes, it's Friday, so I do have some jokes. Let's look at what today's thing is with nine days left. All right, yesterday was ten days. We had naps. Thanks for sending in your pictures of naps. And Miss Margaret's working on, I believe, a collage of people snoozing in the middle of their hard work. Awesome. Today we're on the A in Ferdinand. Nine days left. And the A is going to stand for art. All right, art. Do some kind of art ties in well because Fridays are a day that you devote to doing your specials, art being one of those. I know Mrs. Reese has had some really neat projects out there, and um, about halfway through this e-learning, she did compile a collage, like a, a slideshow, and um, we did show that, so we've had some student work, and I'm sure another one will be forming soon. I know the bigger kids have to do a Mona Lisa parody. Um, I think art in the form of Chagall is one of their assignments as well. So, you know, if you want to show one of those projects that you're finishing up, awesome. Maybe you want to do art in some other way today. Maybe you haven't played with some watercolors you got in the cabinet. Maybe chalk designs again. That's always cool. Um, maybe Play-Doh. Construct with Play-Doh. Maybe your parents hardly ever let you paint. So maybe today you'll take some paint and do it. I'll probably be showing. I, I love to, to paint when I can. I'm not a great artist, but I'm, I'm okay. Um, so maybe I'll show some of those and take a picture of some of the painting that I've done at those places that you can go to paint when you're an adult. All right. Um, now let's just do our jokes. It's time for the Friday funnies. I pulled these from our list, um, you know, from our packet that's at school. Okay. Our first one is from Julia Stazinska. What does the cat say when you step on its tail? Meow! Thank you, Julia. Thank you for that. This next joke is from Samantha in sixth grade. How do pickles enjoy a day out? They relish it. 
Get it? Pickles are like a form of relish. Relish means to enjoy. That's a thinker. Thank you, Samantha, for that. Okay. Uh, let's see. This one's from Leo in third grade. Leo has submitted tons of jokes. A lot of our uh, jokes are uh, Leo jokes. So here we go. Leo in third grade. Why didn't the mermaid believe what her friends told her? Because she thought it sounded fishy. Get it? Mermaids are like fish. Uh, thank you, Leo, for that. Okay. <laughs> this one is from Caroline in third grade. A lot of third grade jokes, too. This is those third graders. They were on top of this during the school year. All right. Um, why do snowmen go to the Carrot Fest? The Carrot Fest. Why would they go? To pick their noses. <laughs> that one makes me laugh. I'm not going to explain that, but I'm sure you kind of get it, too. And guess what? We even had Mrs. Alanis, our fourth grade teacher, emailed me some jokes this week. I think she was in a slap happy mood and she thought of some jokes for the Friday funny. So here we go from Mrs. Alanis, fourth grade teacher. Um, why was the math book sad? Because it had too many problems. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's a cute joke. All right. Um, why was the equal sign so humble? Why was the equal sign so humble? Because he wasn't greater or less than anyone else. Just the same. All right, I like that joke. That's definitely geared toward the older kids. So thank you, Mrs. Alanis, and everybody for submitting those jokes. Um, work hard today. Hopefully we'll see a lot of you around the blocks cheering for the eighth grade. I look forward to seeing the eighth graders tonight. Um, make sure you're wearing your masks, of course, when you come, and that you are staying six feet apart from everybody. And it looks like a beautiful night. Hooray. Work hard on those special subjects. Get things done this week, all right? So you can really enjoy um, all the fun e-learning next week. All right? Uh, take care. Have a good weekend. Oh, oh my gosh. I almost forgot one more thing. Monday. Monday is uh, open open office time. Oh my gosh. Monday, June 1st. All right? So there's no more new packets to pick up. But if your teachers have said you need to bring stuff in, um, you make sure you come in. All right? We're going to have just, um, just walk right into the office. We'll have a bin there. Drop off your children's work if a teacher has requested it. Also, since the office is open, we're happy to take up any take any final tuition payments. All right, if you still are finishing up those payments, um, Monday is a good day to really come in the office and finalize that. Or if you haven't paid your registration yet for next year, please do so as well. Thank you. So I'll see some of you Monday as well. Bye bye.